Hi there. Welcome back to Carew's Reviews. I'm Carew, and here's my review of a couple of speakers that don't actually work, nor have they ever worked for me, so it might be kind of weird that I'm reviewing dead speakers. But uh, I got them for free, so that's why they were... That's why they don't work. <laughs> the guy that owned them was trying to sell me another set of Logitech, a 2.1 system set of Logitech. Or sorry, not Logitech. These are the Logitech. He, he sold me another set of Alltech Lansing speakers and uh, a two point, an old 2.1 system. And he, in selling them to me, he said, hey, I got an old set of Logitech speakers. Uh, that don't really work, but you can you can have them if you want. They were, they were really nice speakers in their day. And I said, sure, what the hell? I'll take them home and, and fiddle around with them and see if maybe I can get them working. So, uh, about the closest I got to them working was a um, a brief flicker for a split second of, of uh, electricity, and that was about it. Other than that, they've been completely dead since I got them. But, uh, I just thought, what the hell, i got nothing to lose. Even though I don't have an electronics background, I thought, I could fiddle around with them and open them up and dick around. And who knows, maybe I'll get them to work. Well, I, I haven't been able to, so. So they're just uh, basically bookends now. But, um, but they were interesting speakers, because when they came out, they were 150 bucks. I think that was U.S. too. Um, I think these are, the, let me just check. I'm still trying to figure out what model they are. I'm looking them up as we speak. I'm totally disorganized here. Uh, these are old, old speakers. Um, but I also think they're probably the most powerful 2.0 speakers Logitech's ever made. <clears throat> and you can tell that because, well, for one thing, they're rated at 15 watts per side RMS. And I don't know of any other Logitech 2.0 speakers that have, have that, that much of a rating. I should say that have that much power. Well, these are the Z10s. That's what they're called. I couldn't remember what they were called. Um, but you can tell that they're not cheap, that they were, they were a pretty solid unit. Because this is the right speaker. And it's got the elect little display in here and all the controls and stuff. And this one, the power amp is in here. This speaker probably weighs 10 pounds. This one probably weighs 3 or 4 pounds. Um, it's unbelievable. It's like it's like the weight of a it's cinder block. This thing. It's crazy. That's how you know that they're not cheap crap. So these, uh, they came out, I think about 10 years ago. And uh, they were actually really well reviewed. They've got a 3-inch woofer and a 1-inch dome tweeter. And uh, critics really liked them. They thought they sounded really good. And uh, you, and you know that it's not cheap crap because of the weight and the the uh, power rating on them. But um, the only problem was that there was no sub out for them, so you couldn't have got up the subwoofer. So you obviously weren't going to get really deep bass, but you could get some really good mids and highs out of them. The weird thing about these speakers is um, is that the ele little electronic display in here with all the controls for your gadgetry. I have no idea what the point of that was. Like, I, I don't know what Logitech was thinking. Uh, because every device has all this information in it. It doesn't matter if you've got a computer, an iPad, a phone, whatever you're using, it's all that information is going to be in there. So why Logitech built this redundancy, I have no idea. But um, I a lot of people were scratching their heads going, uh, what was the point of Logitech? Um, See, and then the speakers would have been a lot cheaper if they hadn't built all this useless stuff into it, too. So, I don't know what the point of that was. But anyway, got a little headphone jack on the side. They're tilted up, too. Yeah, about a 10, 15 degree angle. And another thing, too, is they got this little bass port in the back, too, for added bass. I expect it probably can't get much lower than about... Yeah, 70 hertz, though, maybe, if you're lucky. Probably seconds. You know, but for little computer speakers, that's pretty impressive. So, 
But I don't know what they sound like, like I said, because they never worked. So uh, I know that they, I've read reviews on them that said they were actually really good. So, but um, I'm a bass head, so I'm not that heartbroken really, because I know that they wouldn't be able to produce deep bass. But, but it still would have been nice to hear them. And th I'm sure that one just dome tweeter probably sounded pretty good. So uh, that's why my review today is pretty short because there isn't really much to say about a couple of dead speakers I've got that are worth a whole lot of not very much. So hopefully you enjoyed that video and I'll see you on another one.